Hey guys, my name is Jared and I'm one of the worship leaders on staff here at Calvary, uh, specifically the Calvary Parker campus. Uh, but I'm excited to have the opportunity to share with you one of my favorite and uh, oftentimes, in my opinion, underrated uh, characters in the Bible, and that's the Apostle Peter. Uh, his name actually wasn't always Peter. His name was Simon. Jesus later changed his name to Peter, and we can talk about that in a moment. But uh, Peter's life can be summarized uh, primarily in the book of Mark. Uh, but did you know that uh, Peter was actually one of the first disciples to follow Jesus? And we can look in scripture where we see Jesus walking along uh, the shorelines of the Sea of Galilee and he comes across Simon and his brother Andrew. They're casting their nets into the water and uh, he approaches them and says in the, the famous words we all have heard before, come and follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. We can see in another passage where Jesus is walking along with his disciples, all of them at that point, and he says to them, who do the people say that I am? Uh, some of the disciples uh, respond by saying, uh, they say you're John the Baptist or Elijah or Jeremiah the prophet. Uh, but Jesus says, who do you say that I am? And Simon uh, responds by saying to Jesus, you're the Messiah, you're the son of the living God. And uh, Jesus responds by saying, I tell you that you are now Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail. In that simple uh, but amazing exchange, he went from Simon to Peter. And I can remember the first time in my life when I confessed a Jesus as my Savior and my Lord. Uh, he didn't change my name, but he did change my life. And uh, I don't regret it one day. Uh, there's so many amazing stories uh, in the New Testament and the Gospel with Peter and his life and time with Jesus. We can see moments of uh, amazing faith and boldness uh, and just how important it is to keep our eyes on Jesus no matter what. We can see Peter and the disciples in the boat out on the water and Jesus is in the distance. He's coming towards them and uh, the disciples freak out. They, they don't know what they're seeing. They think it's a ghost and they say, who are you? Uh, Jesus says, you know who I am. And Peter says, well, then if it's you, let me come out onto the water with you. And Jesus says, well, come out. So Peter steps out onto the water and he's walking on water with Jesus. And it, I can't imagine what he's feeling in that moment, but he takes his eyes off of Jesus and he begins to sink because the storm and the wind and the waves are, are distracting him. I can think of times in my life when I've taken big, big steps of faith and uh, stepped out onto the water and, uh, it, and it, as amazing as it is, we take our eyes off of Jesus for one second and we, big, we get, begin to sink. But, but Jesus reached out his hand and, and rescued Peter. I can think of another story in the upper room uh, at the Last Supper when Jesus is talking to his disciples and uh, he's talking to them about the soon uh, suffering he will endure. And Peter just uh, again so boldly says, I will go to prison for you. I will die for you. And Jesus says, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. I can think of times in my life when the, I've denied the Lord, but he redeems and he, and he forgives because we know what happens. He, he was crucified. He rose from the dead three days later and he went and visited the disciples again. And uh, Peter uh, ended up being redeemed and he was even reinstated. God call, he was called out beyond the gates of Israel and to take the gospel message out. And we can see a story uh, of such a powerful prayer uh, where uh, Peter is imprisoned and he's in chains and there's guards around him and the church is fervently praying for Peter and an angel of the Lord comes into the prison and the shackles break and they walk out of the prison together. You know, Peter took his ministry to Rome and he spent some of his final years there writing two letters. Uh, the first letter uh, was to the church and they were uh, words of encouragement to uh, encourage through the suffering and persecution that they were facing in that time. The second letter was uh, dealing with false teachers and, and the coming judgment of the Lord, but also that he rescues and, and delivers his people. You know, Peter is one of my favorite characters in the Bible because of his boldness. He was willing to do anything and give up anything for the Lord, even if it meant losing his life. Well, I hope you were encouraged by this. Uh, I know I was, and uh, I pray that you're blessed. Thank you.